Hi everybody, welcome back to What's Up with Stampin' Up. I'm Christina Reese and this is my Facebook Live every Thursday night at 8 o'clock. Actually, I am going to be changing my Facebook Live. Evenings just don't work. I have a home-based business, but evenings is really for family. So, from now on, I'm going to have to move my Facebook Live to the daytime when my husband's at work. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, but I will still be doing them because I really like them. And um, I haven't decided what day I'm going to go. Uh, and I'm thinking I might even do it in the mornings. I know most of you all, though, um, watch in the evenings. But that's okay because all the Facebook Lives are always on replay. So you can always still catch them. Um, and I also post them on YouTube. So speaking of my YouTube channel, I've been taking some courses on how to make better YouTube videos. So if you are not a subscriber or if you didn't even know I had a YouTube channel, um, you can find it. It's uh, Creating with Christina. And um, just hit the little subscribe button and you'll always be uh, notified when there's a new video posted. Hey, Dorothy. Um, I don't know if you heard, Dorothy, but I'm going to have to uh, move my Facebook Lives to the daytime. Evenings are really hard to schedule around. But anyways, you can still catch them on replay. Ah, so, um, what's up with Stampin' Up? So, you know what? Tomorrow is the last day of August. Yikes. <laughs> Where did the time go? Oh, my gosh. But being the last day of August, it is also... The last day to get your Blended Seasons uh, stamp set die cuts and these beautiful watercolor pencils. No more after tomorrow. So if you haven't ordered yours, get yours tomorrow. Get yours today. Get yours tonight. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's really a gorgeous set. Let me look at it. Um, it has all four seasons. If you have not seen this, it's been on... Um, it's been all over the internet for the last month. All the Stampin' Up! demonstrators have been doing samples of cards with this and uh, just showing you how amazing it is, how versatile it is. Like I said, all four seasons, summer, spring, fall, and Christmas. Uh, or winter, it doesn't have to be Christmas. It's holly leaves. So, um, anyways, tomorrow, last day. Also, last day for bonus days. If you have not put in an order in August, you're missing out on free money or free product. Stampin' Up! gives you $5 credit for every $50 you spend. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, and like I said also, so $50 is five and 100 is 10. However, if you go up to 150, you not only get the $15 bonus uh, money for September, but you also become your own hostess and you get Hostess rewards on on this August order. So this ends tomorrow. So don't miss out. Don't want to miss out on free stuff. <laughs> oh, one more thing, and that is paper pumpkin. September 10th, so you only have 11 days. If you are not a subscriber, you are going to miss out on this adorable Halloween kit. We're not sure exactly what it's inside it, but we know it's going to be cute. And we're hoping that it's going to, of course, uh, coordinate with the um, Toil and Trouble suite. That would be really fun, wouldn't it? That cute little witch. <laughs> um, but we don't know. We won't know until, uh, until it's released. That's the fun of Paper Pumpkin. It's always a surprise. <laughs> All right, one more thing. September 5th. If you don't have your catalog yet. Email me. I will send you one. There's so many cute things in here. And you can start purchasing yours on Wednesday, September 5th. So that'll be a lot of fun. That will. I, um, I've been showing you guys some cards using the, um, what is the Falling for Leaves stamp set and the, um, I said it earlier, uh, Toil and Trouble, the Cauldron. Uh, cauldron Bubble which has the cute little witch, the watercolor of the witch, and you cut her out with the little die cut. She's really cute. Um, matter of fact, I've got my cards right here. Um, for those of you who uh, are going to come to my monthly card class, uh, that is next Friday, September 7th. So this card we're going to be making, ooh, there is a huge glare. There you go. This card we're going to be making is from the Falling Leaves set. And this 
is a cute little Halloween card we're going to make. And uh, we cut out the little hats from the designer series paper. There is a terrible glare on there. Um, now you can see it. And uh, you can either put happy birthday or happy Halloween or whatever saying you want on there. I put Halloween. Um, then also from that same stamp set, here's the cute little witch. And we're going to make this little birthday card for October babies. And finally, we're going to make a Thanksgiving card or you can make a thank you card. Oh, there. Gosh, that is a terrible glare. I'm going to have to work on my lighting. Okay. I say that every time. There you go. I think you can see it there. So, um, Thanksgiving cards. Yeah. So we're going to be making those in the card class on Friday the 7th. If you have not signed up for that, you can, uh, when you're, uh, go over to events on this Facebook page and click events and you will see the event for my, uh, it's called September fun Friday. No, <laughs> first Friday fun night. Um, and I always have lots of food and wine and, uh, lots of good time with everybody. So, hey, which card, which card did you like, Dorothy? <laughs> All right. What else do I want to say? Make sure I've got my list here. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, when you go to my blog, if you have not subscribed to my email, um, I send out an email every week. And the... Um, of course, I always give you the information, but I also give you a either a, a craft tutorial or a card tutorial that's exclusive to my email subscribers. You won't be able to get them, you know, I won't show them on YouTube or on my blog or anything. They're just for my email subscribers. Um, also, I give you a free PDF file of um, things that you can handwrite inside your handmade card. Sometimes it's hard to think of what to write inside a sympathy card or something like that. And so I give you lots of great ideas. And that's a, just a free PDF file that I give you when you subscribe to my email list. And you can do that over at my blog. All right. Tonight, we're not going to make a card tonight. What we're going to do tonight is I had a question from one of my customers and she wanted to know why or what's the difference between the red rubber stamps and the acrylic stamps? She likes that the acrylic stamps or what we call the photopolymer stamps, the clear stamps, she likes that they're so much less expensive, but they are, well, not so much more, but they're just less expensive. But there's so many cute red rubber stamps she likes, and she was just wondering why there are different kinds. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. All right. And with that, let's get some out. All right. So our company has three different style of stamps. We have the traditional red rubber stamp on a wood block. Okay, this is like what, this is what rubber stamping was for years before they figured out how to make clear photopolymer stamps. So this was it. Now, the what I mean by a photopolymer stamp are these clear, um, just made out of acrylic, photopolymer rubber stuff and these however you have to have a acrylic block to stick them on okay so that's one difference um, if you buy photopolymer you have to buy acrylic blocks to stick them on and some of your um, let me get this piece of paper off there whoops get back on there some of these guys are really little. See how that little piece of that acorn, there it is, is just the size of my fingertip. And if you put it on a block that was, where did I put all my blocks? Good grief. If you put that on this size of a block, okay, you see that? That thing is huge. And it would be real easy to tilt it. Hey, Debbie. Um, it would be real easy to tilt it and mess it up. So you would need a smaller acrylic block. So, um, to, to get really good stamping. And we have a whole collection of acrylic, you can't even see my face anymore, but those are all the different size acrylic blocks that you can get. And we sell them individually or we sell them as this big kit here. <laughs> so you can have every one of them all at once in a nice little case. So if you get photopolymer, you have to have acrylic blocks. You also have to have, um, where did it go? Oh goodness, I was so organized until I started moving everything around. You also have to have a foam pad, okay? So if you'll see on the wooden rubber, see that gray? That's foam rubber there. That's this stuff. So that, even though photopolymers seem to be less expensive, you have to buy more stuff to use them, okay? However, you buy this acrylic block, you don't have to buy it anymore, okay? So 
you know, you can use it for all your, your different stamps you get. So, so it's more of an investment instead of having to buy lots of stuff every time. You just have to, up front, it, it costs a little bit more. So that is one thing. Now, if we took the photopolymer and the red rubber block on a block and we had them come together and have a baby, <laughs> you would get what we call the clear mount. And that's what this is. So the clear mount is the red rubber with the with the foam, but you stick it on an acrylic block. <laughs> so there you go. Yay. Okay. So that's that's great because now you're getting the the nice um the quality of the red rubber, but the versatility of using it on an acrylic block, but also not just the acrylic block, bum, ba, da, bum, but the stamp positioner, which we call the stamp apparatus. All right, so you can now stick these guys on your photo position. Ah! <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job here, am I? Okay, let's push that down. There we go. Yeah, so then you just have that and then you don't have to buy a bunch of blocks and it's also really nice so you can like position right where you want the stamp on your card using a, a um, positioner like this which we call the stamp apparatus so that's another benefit of the red rubber what we call the clear mount which is really confusing because people go a clear stamp well a clear stamp is you can see through the stamp a clear mount is you're mounting it on a clear material that you can see through, but the stamp itself's not clear. So it's called a clear mount because the mount is clear. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Well, there's some more differences between the photopolymer and the red rubber besides just the mounting part of it. And that is what they do. So um, let me get these out of the way real quick for you. Okay, I don't need that one. And I do want her. Right. Go in there. And I need, all right, I'm going to tilt the screen down so you guys can see what I'm doing down here. Okay, there we go. And let's get you a little closer. Ah, come on. There we go. All right. Um, so the another difference in the red rubber the red rubber stamp which i need a bigger block than this one for this little lady and by the way is she not the cutest little lady i just love her she's so precious um i'm gonna get out the e stamp for her she didn't she didn't quite fit on the d stamp so we're gonna get the e stamp out all right and i just put some good pressure on there and get her nice and stuck there we go um, and you do not want to use this when you're using a red rubber stamp because you don't want the double foam or you will get, um, well, you'll just, you'll just smear up um, the image really bad. All right, I have some scratch paper right here and I have my card. And now what this does, oh, and we have two different inks. Where did, oh, heavens, I am not organized now. I started moving everything around. I can't find it. Looking for my mementos. <sighs> well, heavens. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have completely lost. Oh, no. Yeah, there it is. It was where, where it was supposed to be. <laughs> okay, we have two different black inks. Mementos black ink is water-based. All right, so you do not want to use watercolor or the uh, regular ink markers with this ink to color with. This is Stazon. This is a solvent based or alcohol based ink. This is what you use when you want to use watercolor. This is what you use when you want to use, well, hello Merlin. Are you going to say hi to everybody? Turn you around so you can see everybody. Say hi Merlin. What do you think? Yeah? What is that? <laughs> Always fun to have a kitty come join you in your craft room. Okay, back to what I was saying. So stays on is for when you want to stamp an image and then use water-based colors to color it. Mementos is a water-based ink, 
So you are going to use your Stampin' Blends, and Stampin' Blends are the alcohol-based markers. Um, some people call them Copic markers. Um, there's all kinds of different names for alcohol-based markers, but you would use a water-based black ink to stamp your image. So now, with all that said, we have this precious little lady here, and I don't know if you can see. Yeah. She has quite a bit, a little bit of detail on her. On a photopolymer, now they can make those details, but they're not going to be super crisp and clean when you stamp them down on paper. So that is the biggest advantage of red rubber. You get a much sharper and much cleaner stamped image with red rubber. So when you're doing something intricate like her little jacket with those cute little leopard prints on it, you'll want, they will create it on a red rubber stamp and usually not a photopolymer. So let me get uh, my stays on here because I only have, I don't have, uh, I just have my watercolor base out, my watercolor colors right now. So I just stamp her up and then I place, place her on here and I want to make her even. And I just stamp down and I stamp up. Okay. And you see that, whoa, kind of a glare there. Yeah, you can see her pretty good there. So she's a cute little girl. Now, we have two different cleaners. I mean, there's a lot, there's a difference between all this. The cleaner that you're going to want to use, um, well, I use Memento, so you could use this watercolor one. But this Stampin' Scrub, when you're using Stays On ink, cleans your red rubber stamp beautifully. Okay, and let me just rub it on there and you can't even see the black ink anymore. Um, let me do stays on. Oh, that's what I did with stays on. Oh heavens, I just like had a brain cuckoo there. Okay, so when using stays on, you want to use your uh, solvent here cleanser that goes on the stamp and scrub to clean your stamp and it'll clean it off. This cleaner which we call the chamois is only water and it's not going to clean stays on at all, but it will color. It will clean off water off of your uh, water based ink. Um, these inks here off of your, okay, hold on children. Hold on. Merlin, I love you to death little buddy, but you're not getting everything on the floor. Come on, down you go. Thank you. Sorry about that. You guys. <laughs> okay. Ah, so we cleaned, we cleaned our little lady. Let's put all this away. And now I want to show you the other stamp and what we call the photopolymer. So this, the photopolymer, we need our, what I call a piercing pad, well, what the company calls a piercing pad. It's just a foam rubber pad. And I want my card, okay? And now what I need, what I want to show you the advantage of using photopolymers no, I do not want to end this video. What happened? Come here. Cancel. I don't know what I hit, but anyways. Um, layer, the acrylic stamps are awesome because you can have uh, multi-layer stamped images. So, for instance, this sunflower. So, uh, this sunflower, which... Okay. I lost the center of the sunflower. I don't know where it went. It was on here just a second ago. I am having a day, aren't I? All right. Well, forget it. We'll just do the petals. Uh, live TV. Love it. This petal uh, part here is what we call the first layer, and this one is the second layer. Now, do you see where I put these black dots? Okay. I use those to help me to keep my stamp lined up. The, the actual piece of acrylic that it's sitting on, I do not know if you can see that at all, but there's like a little tick mark right there to show you the top of the stamp, but it's not on the stamp. So once you take it off of here and you move, you, sometimes it's hard to tell what's still up, especially on a flower with petals. It's really hard to tell. So I just used a black permanent marker and just marked the top of the flower so it's really easy to line up. So what I mean by that is I have my petals here. I have my acrylic block. I'm going to stick it on there. And I'm going to use two shades of ink to create this flower. 
So my bottom layer, this first layer, is with the lighter ink, and I'm using Daffodil Delight. Okay. And I just ink that up. All good. And then I have my black dot facing up. And you see that it's kind of light right there, but that's okay. This is a watercolor look uh, stamp. It's created, um, if I can show you the, the cover of the stamp box, see how the side, it's lighter gray. It's supposed to be that way. A lot of people were worried about that when they first got this stamp set, but no, it's supposed to be that way because it's supposed to look like a watercolor painting when you're finished stamping. Now, I'm just using the stamp chamois, the simple chamois here, because this is water-based ink and it'll clean on this water sponge. So that's nice and clean. Oh, and one more thing. Um, photopolymer, when you're using the darker reds, uh, blacks, browns, these get stained. And though they're stained, they're not ruined. However, they are kind of difficult to see through after a while. But um, that's just a part of the process. So, um, you just, it, it works. Um, like I said, that's another reason why I use the little dot um, to help me see where the, wh how the stamps line up. All right, so the second layer is a lot more detailed, and you want a darker color to show the detail. So I'm using Mango Melody, just a little bit darker than the uh, Daffodil Delight. Put the Daffodil Delight away. And ink it up real good. Now, notice my black dot, so I'm just going to line up. If I had had the center of my sunflower, I would have stamped that first, and I would have been able to see through this stamp. But I'm just going to have to do my best. There we go. All right. Oh, and the stamp positioner would help also, because you could place the stamp down on the paper and move it around, and then adhere it to the stamping positioner. So that's another advantage of that. But that's okay, it still worked. See, we have a detailed sunflower. So that is the good advantage. That's an advantage of the clear photopolymers that you can have multi-layer stamps made. All right, um, make sure I've told you everything that I wanted to tell you about these stamps. So we have two different kinds. The red rubber, you can either buy it on wood mount or clear mount. Okay, wood mount is just like what you're used to, the old-fashioned red rubber wood mount stamps. I'm going to pull it back up here. Hey, there. Oh, found the leaves. I don't know why these are coming off of here. Mm. Okay. <laughs> red rubber. Ah. Oh, well, you're welcome, Debbie. Yes, um, like I said, uh, Maria, she had asked me what the difference was. She wanted me to explain it to her, so I thought that would be a great thing to do on Facebook Live. Quick recap, though. Uh, red rubber comes on wood mount, and it comes on clear mount. Red rubber um, gives you a cleaner, uh, crisper image when you stamp it. Um, it does not stain like photopolymers do with the inks. You can clean the ink off of a red rubber stamp, but photopolymer, for some reason, it stains. It doesn't ruin it. It just, they're harder to see through after a while. Um, the clear acrylics, uh, photopolymer stamps, you have to buy acrylic blocks for, and you have to, um, or no, you don't have to, but uh, the advantage of them is that you can see through them, so you can position in place. However, if they get so stained, sometimes it's hard to see through them. Um, they also say, now I don't, Stampin' Ups are super high quality photopolymer clear stamps. Um, there are people who've had them for years and they're perfectly good. Some of those clear stamps that you buy in the big box store, craft stores, they're not made with as good quality and they will deteriorate over time. They will um, just kind of they become real fuzzy. The image just becomes kind of blurred. I don't know what happens to the material, but it just, it does something after time. And of course, red rubber stamps have been around forever. They are the originals, and 
there are people who have, I mean, Stampin' Up's 30 years old, and there are demonstrators who have their original red rubber stamps that still stamp beautifully. So um, there's that. Let's see. The, the other thing I mentioned in this video was the difference between the Mementos ink and the Stazon ink. And just remember, opposites. So if you use Mementos water-based black, you use alcohol colors. If you use Stazon alcohol solvent-based black, then you use water-based inks to color. So Stazon goes with watercolors and Mementos go with alcohol markers. So that's how to keep that. Just opposites go together. <laughs> they attract. <laughs> um, I can't think of anything else. If you guys have any more questions, just put them in the comments and I'll get to them. Um, once again, I am moving my Facebook Live to the daytime. Uh, the evenings are just, it seems like every Thursday night I'm having to tell people no. I'm trying to I tell my husband no. He's not real happy with that when he's got things he's, he'd like to do with us. So I um, during the daytime, I'm by myself crafting all day. So uh, it's it would be much better for me. And you can uh, those of you who can't see it during the day, no biggie. You can watch it on replay. Okay. Um, I think that's really it. Don't forget tomorrow is the last last day for uh, the blended season stamp set. It, you won't be able to purchase it anymore after tomorrow. And they uh, seriously exclusive stamp sets they've never brought back. You've never been able. You may be able to find them with another demonstrator who will sell them to you for a profit if she has extras. But other than that, um, you won't be able to find those uh, blended seasons anywhere, nor those 10 extra colors of watercolor pencils, which is really something you'd want to get. The other thing is our bonus days in tomorrow. So tomorrow uh, is the last day for every $50 you spend, you get $5 credit. And if you go up to 150, you become your own hostess. So you get hostess rewards plus the bonus uh, money that you'll get to spend in September. So that's exciting. P Paper Pumpkin has a really adorable, cute Halloween kit coming out. You have to be signed up by September 10th. To be able to get that and what else did I have oh the cat the catalog oh my gosh the ho holiday catalog you guys are gonna get to order from it on Wednesday September the 5th so yay I'm excited about that for you guys all right um, that's it good night you guys bye bye thanks so much for being with me tonight